Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy, and thanks for joining me for devotions again today. We're in Luke chapter number one. Again, remember, Luke is a physician. He's a doctor, so he's very detail-oriented. And he's telling us the story of when the birth of John the Baptist, the one who was preparing the way for the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember yesterday we saw that his parents, John's parents, Zechariah and Elizabeth, had been praying for a son for many, many years, and God heard their prayers, and he was faithful, and he answered them. And then when the angel was talking to Zacharias, this is an amazing thing. He says, we read the verse, let me just pick up where we ended yesterday, verse 13. But the angel said, do not be afraid, Zechariah. God has heard your prayer. Your wife, Elizabeth, will give you a son and you are to name him John. You will have great joy and gladness and many will rejoice at his birth for he will be great in the eyes of the Lord. He must never touch wine or other alcoholic drinks. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before his birth. That's an interesting phrase, he will be filled with the Holy Spirit. That's, that's something that, that we as believers, as Christians, we believe that happens to us when we trust Christ as our personal Savior. So when I accept that free gift of salvation and surrender my life to God, the Holy Spirit comes to live inside of me. And I, I believe that we get all of the Holy Spirit that we are going to get at that time. He, we have him completely. The problem is, is that we don't loose him out of the box that we have him in. So we don't trust him to lead us. We don't listen for his voice. The problem is not that God is not speaking to us. The problem is our listening. And we've got to learn to tune in to that frequency of the Holy Spirit and listen to him as he leads us in our everyday lives. When I read this phrase this morning, I saw, as I saw this, I thought, man, even as a child, he was going to be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his birth. And I wanted this, I was kind of screaming out inside of my, my own body, my own life. That's what I want. I want to have that fullness of the spirit, that, that complete control to allow myself to be completely controlled by the Holy Spirit every day of my life. You know, every morning as I get ready and, and head to church and no matter what day it is, as I'm getting ready every morning, I, I pray and ask the Lord, Lord, I give myself to you again today. And Holy Spirit, please lead me. Show me people who need to hear from you. Help me to pay attention to those who are in need today. Lead me. I surrender myself completely to you. I pray that or something like that every single morning because I want the Holy Spirit. I want God to completely have control of my life and to lead me in the way that he wants me to go. Because there are people everywhere who just need somebody to care. I was I tell you guys about walking in Walmart because that's mostly where I end up when Noemia sends me there or when I need to grab a uh, lunch I'll go in and grab a salad or a sandwich or something or some stuff in there. So many mornings early in the morning I'm walking through Walmart before I come to church to grab something and as was the case just the other day. I was walking through there and just whistling kind of minding my own business and there was a man in a wheelchair in one of the the power chairs. And he was kind of going around and and he had gotten in front of me in one of the aisles and there was a bunch of stuff in there. And I kind of, inside my own heart, I'm, I'm confessing right now, I got a little frustrated because he just kind of stopped. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to turn around and go all the way back around. So I did. I turned around, walked all the way back around, came out the other end. And there he was again. <laughs> he had moved. And so the guy kind of convicted me. And I, I said, okay, Lord, you know. And so I started whistling and kind of moving on again. And this guy chased me down. And when he chased me down, he came up to me and he said, um, he said, hey, I just want you to know you did something special for me this morning. I said, oh, really? What's that? He said, my dad used to whistle everywhere he went. He said, and when you were whistling, he said, I stopped my chair in the middle of the aisle and I started crying. And then I felt really bad because I was frustrated that he stopped. But he was stopped because God was doing something in his heart, reminding him of his dad, who was a believer, and he's a believer, and he attends a local church here in our community. And, and with tears in his eyes, he said, I just wanted to thank you. He's an older man. He said, I just wanted to thank you for bringing those memories of my dad back um, and reminding me of my dad this morning. He was known as the whistler. And so I asked this gentleman, I said, well, I'm a pastor. I said, yes, is there anything I can pray for you about? And he asked me to pray about something. And so we stopped there in the middle of the the aisle at Walmart, the main aisle there, and we stopped and we just prayed for a few minutes and encouraged one another and went our way. But I thought, I thought, here I am asking God to lead me, asking God to put people in my path who need to hear from him, and then I get frustrated when he does it. Why? Because I wasn't listening to the Spirit. I wasn't in tune as well as I should have been. 
How many days do we go through all day without even once being in tune and listening to the Holy Spirit of God trying to tell us, hey, I want you to talk to this person. Hey, I want you to say this to that person. Hey, I want you to pray with this person. How many people do we miss every day who are in need of a touch from God all because we're too busy and we're not listening to the Holy Spirit? I want to encourage you today. Ask God to bring people into your path that he can show you that need something from him. And then just be that channel, that empty vessel that God uses to touch people around you every day. So I hope that you'll do that. I hope you'll pray and ask God and you'll listen to the spirit as he speaks to you. So get in God's word, listen to the spirit. And until tomorrow, God bless you and have a great day. Thank you.